So here you have a sourdough with which you make bread. It's you can see there's some uh, bubbles there. I don't know if you can. <laughs> it's uh, it's basically a mixture of um, water and flour um, that you start with, and you let it. You can let it in some warm place with something covered so flies don't come in in the sun and a bit hot place for the ferments to come in it's wild uh, while the yeasts that are everywhere in the in the air and once they come in they start fermenting eating the um, the sugars in the flour and then that produces and they they start farting and creating uh, gases and those farts go through the bread makes it all bubbly and that's the case with normal bread as well that's also yeast farting and that gets it bubbly and those bubbles when you cook it get trapped and you have a fluffy bread um, so the more farts the more the more gas there is the better the bread is um, this this sourdough here doesn't seem to catch mold sometimes it can happen um, but it all depends on what kind of uh, yeasts got in there you know there might be a yeast that is inhibiting the development of, of uh, mold so for that reason I can keep it for a week for two weeks it starts um, without feeding it feeding it would mean putting more sugar no, not more sugar more flour which contains complex sugars more water um, but for this it's just I leave it for two weeks without doing anything and it just gets a bit dry and that's the other thing with the sourdough sourdough is just this wild um, random mixture of um, of uh, yeasts that that uh, end up on a medium that you can then transport to to bread making. You can put that medium into more flour and more water, and that makes it bubble. But you can have many shapes. You can have it into pieces like little cookies. You can have it into. Um, uh, if this, if I empty this and I, I have the dry thing over around that contains the bacteria and the yeast, and I just scrape it up, put water and flour, and it starts multiplying again. So, yeah, sourdough is is any type of um, yeasted, yeast infected uh, sugary medium, and then with that I make bread by adding it to half part whole wheat. Uh, flour and uh, half part white flour uh, leaving it overnight in the morning I put it in the oven I and it's pretty liquidy um, I add water so in the morning I add salt maybe some spices on top some poppy seeds I put it in the oven at 220 degrees for an hour and 20 minutes or so and then you get a nice big fat loaf of bread that you haven't paid anything for yeah, that's the beauty of yeast of sourdough that you don't have to buy commercial yeast and also the flavor is different it um, it gives a specific um, soury flavor and some say it's even healthier because of the process that goes on for longer than with yeast with yeast you put uh, you put this specially um, um, specially selected yeasts commercially speci specially selected yeasts you put them into the loaf into the flour and in one hour it grew you know but uh, it doesn't really transform the gluten in the in the flour, so it's not so healthy, I guess. But with this, they say it's even healthier. But I just like the taste. I like that it's free and um, that you can also share. You can take half of this, give it to a friend. They put more water, more flour, and they get free bread from that, except for you know, flour and water. <laughs> Does it come from any particular culture, or is there any culture at the moment that really still uses it massively? Now, I guess they use it wherever they can't afford the yeast, um, but it's all over the place. It's uh, it's in it's in many countries. You can't really pinpoint it to any country. And actually, there is a culture link to to sourdough and a specific area because the mixture of yeast is different in different countries. So wherever you go, you might have the same process, but you might get a different taste and different flavor. So that's really, really interesting to go and see somebody doing the same thing as you in Asia, but for a complete different result. That's nice. Open source kind of thing. <laughs>